I mean, I'll walk in there and I'll tell them one or two things, but that's it. I bank at Chase Bank. It's my bank. Hmm? No one knows me. No bank knows me better than Chase Bank. Two days to the reopening of Chase Bank, and Rita Oyer is exuding confidence that the institution will get back on its feet. This despite a nerve-wracking three weeks since the bank was put under receivership. So what has happened is we have not transacted for as long as possible. Uh, we're holding off that because, again, you don't want to get into debt. You don't, want, you don't know how long this will take. Rita is just one of the over 170,000 account holders at Chase Bank who are hoping that the bank will reopen for good. And today, Kenya Commercial Bank, which is the current receiver manager, took time to answer burning questions from customers online. From the hashtag KCB chat, most of the questions touched on liquidity, with the bank's CEO Joshua Oigara assuring customers of stability moving forward. When it reopens on Wednesday, customers with 1 million shillings and below will be able to access their full amounts. The CEO assuring large depositors that mechanism to allow them withdraw their money will be in place in the next 90 days. During the question and answer session, customers inquired about KCB's plan to take over the bank eventually. Oigara confirmed that KCB is only playing its role as a receiver manager, but a proposal to acquire a majority stake would be put to its shareholders at its annual general meeting on Friday. Some customers wanted to know if the status quo in terms of services would remain, with Oigara confirming that Chase Bank staff would continue operating as normal. KCB has deployed a team of at least seven senior managers to Chase Bank to steer the management process. Customers waiting to see whether the promise will hold. Denis Otieno, Monday Special.